The Bay of Plenty is a bight in the northern coast of New Zealand's North Island. It stretches 260 kilometres from the Coromandel Peninsula in the west to Cape Runaway in the east. The Bay of Plenty region is situated around this body of water, also incorporating several large islands in the bay. The bay was named by James Cook after he noticed the abundant food supplies at several Maori villages there, in stark contrast to the earlier observations he had made in Poverty Bay. History According to local Maori traditions, the Bay of Plenty was the landing point of several migration canoes that brought Maori settlers to New Zealand. These include the Matatua, Nukater, Takitimu, Arawa and Tainui canoes. Many of the descendant IWI maintain their traditional homelands in the region, including Te Fano e Apanui, Te Fukatahia, Gai Tai, Gai Tuho, Nati Awa, Nati Tufaritoa Ki Kawarau, Te Arawa, Gai Te Rangi, Nati Ranginui, and Nati Pukenga. Early Maori settlement gave rise to many of the town and city names used today. The first recorded European contact came when James Cook sailed through the Bay of Plenty in 1769. Cook noted the abundance of food supplies, in comparison to Poverty Bay further back along the eastern coast of the North Island. Further reports of European contact are scarce prior to the arrival of missionary Samuel Marsden to the Taurunga area in 1820. Bay whaling stations operated in the bay during the 19th century. During the 1820s and 1830s, northern IWI, including Na Puhi, invaded the Bay of Plenty during their campaign throughout the North Island, fighting local Maori tribes in what became known as the Musket Wars. However, the 1830s and 1840s saw increased contact between Bay of Plenty Maori and Europeans through trade, although few Europeans settled in the region. Missionary activity in the region also increased during this time. In 1853, New Zealand was subdivided into provinces, with the Bay of Plenty incorporated into Auckland Province. Conflict returned to the Bay of Plenty during the 1860s with the New Zealand Land Wars. Initially this stemmed from Taurunga IWI supporting the Waikato IWI in their conflict with the government. In retaliation, British Crown and government allied Maori forces attacked the Taurunga IWI, including at the famous Battle of Gate Pa in 1864. Further conflict with the government arose in 1865 when German missionary Karl Volkner and interpreter James Fulun were killed by local Maori at Opotiki and Fukatane, respectively. The ensuing conflict resulted in the confiscation of considerable land from several Bay of Plenty IWI by the government. Confiscation of Maori land deprived local IWI of economic resources, among other things, and also provided land for expanding European settlement. The government established fortified positions, including at Taurunga, Fukatane, and Opotiki. European settlers arrived throughout the latter half of the 19th century, establishing settlements in Kati Kati, Te Puke and the Rangitaiki area. In 1876, settlements were incorporated into counties following the nationwide dissolution of the provincial system. Initial settlements in the region struggled, the climate was ill-suited to sheep farming and the geography was inaccessible, further hindered by a lack of infrastructure. By the end of the century the population had started to dwindle. But after experimenting with different crops, settlers found success with dairy production. Dairy factories sprang up across the Bay of Plenty in the 1900s, with butter and cheese feeding economic prosperity throughout the early 20th century, local Maori continued to live on the fringe of this prosperity. Timber also became a major export in the 1950s, as kiwifruit did later. The present Bay of Plenty region was formed in 1989 after a nationwide review and shakeup of top level local government in New Zealand. The new region incorporated the former counties of Taurunga, Rotorua, Whakatane, and Opotiki. 
On 5 October 2011, the MV Rena ran aground on the Astrolabe Reef in the bay causing a large oil spill, described as New Zealand's worst ever environmental disaster. Governance <inaudible> 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 The region is subdivided into territorial authorities, which include the Western Bay of Plenty District, Taurunga City, Fukatane District, Kauwarau District and Opotiki District, as well as parts of Rotorua District and the town of Rangitaiki in Taupo District. The Bay of Plenty Regional Council, which used the brand name Environment Bay of Plenty for a number of years, is the administrative body responsible for overseeing regional land use, environmental management and civil defense in the region. It also oversees local tier governing councils for each of the territorial authorities. In 1989, Fukatane was selected as the seat for the regional council, as a compromise between the two dominant cities of Taurunga and Rotorua. Public health in New Zealand is broken into regions. The Bay of Plenty and Lakes District Health Boards have public health provided by Toi Te Ora, Public Health. Geography <laughs> <laughs> The Bay of Plenty region covers 12,200 square kilometers of land and 9,500 square kilometers of coastal marine area. It extends along the eastern coast of the North Island, from the base of the Coromandel Peninsula in the west to Cape Runaway in the east. The region extends 12 nautical miles from the mainland coastline, and also extends from the coastlines of several islands in the bay, notably Mayer Island, Tuha, Motiti Island, Whale Island and the active volcano of Fukari, White Island. It extends inland to the sparsely populated forest lands around Rotorua and Murupera. The geographical bay is defined by 259 kilometers of open coastline used for economic, recreational and cultural purposes. The coastline from Waihi Beach in the west to Opape is defined as sandy coast, while the coast from Opape to Cape Runaway is rocky shore. Sizable harbors are located at Taurunga, Fukatane and Ohiwa. Major estuaries include Maketu, Little Waihi, Fukatane, Waiotahe and Waioeka, Otara. Eight major rivers empty into the bay from inland catchments, including the Wairoa, Kaituna, Tarawira, Rangitaiki, Fukatane, Waioeka, Motu and Rakakor rivers. The region has more than 200 square kilometers of lakes, known as the Lakes of Rotorua. Much of the central part of the region lies within the Taupo Volcanic Zone, which extends from the center of the North Island northwards to Fukari, White Island. Volcanic mountains and lakes, geothermal areas and geological fault lines all dot the landscape. The geothermal region around Rotorua is a major tourist site, while many hot springs in the region are used as swimming areas. The geothermal field near Kauwarau is the site of a geothermal power plant that will reportedly meet up to one-third of residential and industrial electricity demand in the eastern Bay of Plenty. Fukari, White Island, the site of a former sulfur mining operation, is an active volcanic island popular with tourists. The eruption of Mount Tarawira in 1886 and the 1987 Edgecombe earthquake were two disasters related to geological activity in the volcanic plateau. Prominent mountains in the region include Mount Monganui, Mount Tarawira and Mount Edgecombe, Putauaki, which also have cultural significance to local Maori. The Kaimai and Mamaku mountain ranges lie at the western border of the region. Swamp land was formerly concentrated around a number of rivers, but much of this was dredged in the early part of the 20th century to increase land for settlement and other uses. Large native and foreign planted forest areas are found in the inland parts of the region. The Kaingaroa forest is the world's largest planted forest, comprising radiata pine mainly used for timber. The bay contains numerous islands, notably the active volcano Fukari, White Island, which lies 50 kilometers from the coast in the eastern bay. 
Other large islands include from west to east Matakana Island, Mayor Island, Tuha, Motiti Island, and Motohora Island. The Waimangu geyser, to be seen 1900–1904 erupted frequently, was the most powerful geyser of the world and killed four people in 1903. Topic population In the 2006 census, the total resident population of the Bay of Plenty region was 257,379, an increase of 7.5% from 2001. The Bay of Plenty is the fifth most populous region in New Zealand, accounting for 6.4% of the national population. The regional population is projected to increase to 277,900 by the year 2011. The median age in the Bay of Plenty was 37.2 years, 23.0% of the population were under 15 years of age, while 14.8% of people were aged 65 years or over. The male-to-female ratio was 0.94, the coast is dotted with several sizable settlements, the largest of which is the conurbation of the city of Taurunga and its neighbour Mount Maunganui in the west. The town of Fukatane is located in the center of the coast. Other towns of note include Waihi Beach, Kati Kati, Maketu, Pukehina Beach and Opotiki. Most of the population along the coast is concentrated in the western and central parts of the shore, the eastern part is sparsely populated hill country. In the 2006 census, the Bay of Plenty had an estimated resident population of 257,379, making it the fifth most populous region in New Zealand. It also has the third highest regional population density in New Zealand, with only the 11th largest land area. The major population centres are Taurunga, Rotorua and Fukatane. The Bay of Plenty is one of the fastest growing regions in New Zealand. The regional population increased by 7.5% between 2001 and 2006, with significant growth along the coastal and western parts, and is projected to increase to 277,900 by the year 2011. Significant horticultural, forestry, and tourism industries are well established in the region. However, the Bay of Plenty is the third most economically deprived region in New Zealand, with the eastern districts being among the least economically developed in the country. However, in 2011 Business and Economic Research Limited identified the Bay of Plenty as one of the top performing regions in economic development, ranking second behind Auckland. It had the highest employment and GDP growth for 2011 and had the fastest growing medium term GDP. Tauranga, the region's largest commercial centre, was named New Zealand's top city for economic performance for the 2011 year. <laughs> Urban areas Culture and identity 67.1% of the resident population in the Bay of Plenty identified with the European ethnic group, while 27.5% of people identified themselves as Maori. This compared with 67.6% .6 of the national population identifying themselves as ethnic European and 14.6% identifying themselves as Maori. Other ethnic groups were underrepresented in the region. 14.9% of the regional population was born overseas, compared with 22.9% nationally. English is the most widely spoken language. Te Reo Māori is the most common minority language, spoken by 9.6% of the population, compared with 4.1% nationally. <laughs> Climate The Bay of Plenty has a temperate, maritime climate, with warm, humid summers and mild winters. It is one of the warmest regions in New Zealand, particularly along the coastline, and most areas experience at least 2,200 hours of sunshine per annum. 
Average daily maximum temperatures range from 9 to 16 degrees Celsius in winter to 22 to 26 degrees Celsius in summer. Rainfall occurs more frequently in winter than in summer, but tropical storms in summer and autumn can produce heavy rain with high winds. Central parts of the region can receive up to 2,000 mm of rainfall annually, while the eastern and western areas can receive up to 4,000 mm. Economy The sub-national GDP of the Bay of Plenty region was estimated at US$6.689 billion in 2003, 5% of New Zealand's national GDP. Agriculture, natural resources and tourism are the major industries. Most of the region is defined as rural, with 22% of land usage representing farm land and 38% representing nature reserve land. The most common agricultural land uses are horticulture, dairy, grazing and sheep farming. Notable horticultural crops include kiwifruit, apples and avocados. The region also has an abundance of coastal, forestry and geothermal resources. Forestry emerged as a vital industry in the 1950s, with radiata pine being planted during the early 20th century. Forestry is commercially planted and managed, mostly using planted foreign tree species, and timber is sent to the port of Taurunga for export. Geothermal activity is a source of tourism, and geothermal energy is emerging as a major regional source of electricity. Tourism is the other notable industry, accounting for 15% of the region's GDP from March 2000 to 2004. Overall economic growth in the Bay of Plenty averaged 2.1% between March 2000 and 2004, compared with the national rate of 3.5%, although per capita real GDP growth in the five years to March 2003 matched the national growth rate at an average 2.3%. In the 2006 census, the median annual income was $22,600, below the national median of $24,400. Further, 45.4% of people aged 15 years or older earned an annual income of less than $20,000, compared with 43.2% of people nationally. Unemployment was at 6.1% of people 15 years or older, compared with 5.1% nationally. Tourism The Bay of Plenty is a popular holiday destination due to the warm and sunny summer climate and public beaches. The Bay of Plenty received over 645,000 tourists in 2003, equivalent to one in three visitors to New Zealand coming to the region. Rotorua is a popular destination for international visitors, in particular the surrounding geothermal areas and Maori cultural centres. Taurunga is a popular domestic tourism destination, and also becoming popular internationally. Whale watching has become a popular attraction as the number of whales such as blue whales and humpback whales migrating into bay waters began to recover. Transport The Bay of Plenty has 227 km of rail network and 4,460 km of roads. The main rail line in the region is the East Coast Main Trunk Railway, which extends from Hamilton in the Waikato region to Kawarau via Taurunga, with the Murupera Branch Railway extending the Kawarau Terminus to Murupera, and the Mount Monganui Branch connecting the Mount Monganui Terminus with the East Coast Main Trunk. Rail networks in the region are used exclusively for freight. The hub of regional economic activity is the port of Taurunga, with well-established rail and road connections to other parts of the region. Three commercial airports also operate in the Bay of Plenty, Taurunga Airport, Rotorua Airport and Fukatane Airport. Car travel remains the dominant form of transport in the region. 
In 2002, the number of vehicles owned in the region was 189,000, with an average of 1.51 vehicles per household. Public transport bus services exist only in Taurunga and Rotorua. Significant growth in the Western Bay of Plenty district has seen increased strain on road infrastructure, particularly with increasing traffic congestion in Taurunga. Due to this growth, a new highway network is being planned and constructed in Taurunga to join with its current network spanning on the western side of the city. The New Zealand Transport Agency, in conjunction with Environment Bay of Plenty, Taurunga City and the Western Bay of Plenty District Councils, is planning to build an eastern motorway bypassing Te Puke, a western motorway bypassing Omokoroa and a smaller southern motorway. Sport The Bay of Plenty is represented in several domestic sporting competitions. The Bay of Plenty Rugby Union oversees the Bay of Plenty Steamers, who play in the Mitre 10 Cup. The Steamers are also a feeder club for the Chiefs who play in the Super Rugby competition. The Waikato – Bay of Plenty Magic compete in the ANZ Championship in netball, having previously played in the National Bank Cup. Bay of Plenty also makes up a part of the Northern District's Cricket Region and the Midlands Hockey Region. Media Topic: Magazines. Plenty Magazine. Uno. Magazine. Focus Magazine. Topic: Newspapers. Weekend Sun, Sun Live. Bay of Plenty Times. Rotorua Daily Post. Te Puke Times Opotiki News Fukatane Beacon Topic Radio Stations Topic Television TV Central Freeview Channel 30 Bay of Plenty and Waikato shut down in April 2015 TV Rotorua Rotorua shut down in December 2013 Geyser Television Rotorua shut down in December 2013 Topic See also List of schools in the Bay of Plenty region